Okay, two in a row over Ferrari. Uh, real close one in the first one, close one in the second one. One point match. Uh, one through your mind coming into the final against Ferrari. What do you got to do to beat a guy like that slow him down? I knew that I had the gas tank that I can go off both periods. And I just had to keep pushing my pace to get some passivities on him, keep getting my attacks, and he was trying to do that underhook. I just had to keep my elbow in and keep my head position. Jesse, you had to wait for what, like 10, 20 minutes there or something before the first match? What was that all about? Uh, they had the Katie Russell in the semis that he beat in the finals match. So we had to wait a while, but I still kept my composure. How, how does that play with your mind when you're getting ready for a big match, a big series like that? What do you do to... Recruit? I think it kind of just postpones it. Like, I was really ready to get that first match out of the way. But I don't think it affected my wrestling. I still wrestled in the first. Getting it done in two. Right, not having to go to a third one. Obviously, like Andy mentioned, the, the long layoff and pause, a lot of stuff can go through your mind here. Getting it done in two, how important was that to you? And was the third one even like, do you even game plan for a third match at all? Uh, I thought I can get it done in two. I mean, that third match would have been a lot harder because you start to learn how people wrestle. And I think getting it done in the second was really big. What was going through your head in that challenge there in the second match at the end? That was a, that was a big challenge. Keeping the pressure on him, and uh, I think if it were to go to the third match, I think I could have got it done. Two cha a challenge in each match? Yeah. And you won the one challenge. Did you win both challenges? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because you got a point in the in the first match, I know. Yeah. So you won both challenges. That's good, right? Oh, yeah. Is this your first world championship? Uh, I was here last year as, like, an incoming freshman, so my eighth grade summer. But are, is this your first world team? Uh, I was on the Pan Ams in Schoolboy, and I just made Pan Ams in, for the Flow Nationals. Well, this is my first world world, like not Pan Ams. Yeah, so first really world excited. championship. Oh, yeah. You've been overseas yet? Uh, Columbia counts. I mean, it's still connected, but okay. it's far enough. Yeah, I guess. Wow. When Flo Nats make a Pan Am team, and then you win after and make a world team, does that momentum kind of help you going into the world championships come September? Yeah, it feels good because I blood rounded all the big tournaments last year. Fargo, this tournament. Or far blood round at Super 32, so it feels good to be on top. I'm starting to get it done. What were keys to making a big jump then in the last year? I think it was just the development. The RTCs are, I think, getting me a lot better, and my coaches are a lot. They helped me a lot. My mom, I think, I think it was my meal planning last year too. I didn't do the cut right away, but my mom's been helping me a lot and packing my food for each individual cut. So this two-day weigh-in was easy. Hey man, good luck in the World Championship. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.